it, I thought that there was a big light bulb that went off when we started talking about how Ben Hogan's uh, swing plane changes on the downswing. Yeah, you know, when you started talking about the planes of glass, and I've, I've read the book just like probably a lot of people have, is I always thought the golf swing, the shoulders just spun around the spine. And that was what I've been trying to do all these years. And in reality, that's not true, that that right shoulder has to come under. If you're leading with your hips, that right shoulder has to come under to strike the ball and it'll stay square for a long time. It makes it a lot easier to, to hit straight shots and compress the ball. Hey guys, Christo Garcia, My Swing Evolution. I hope you're having an amazing day. So that was my buddy, Larry. He had come out from St. Louis. We had a lesson last week and uh, we were just talking about the golf swing. We were working on the structure of his swing. And I started to describe how the right shoulder has to work under and the pane of glass actually shifts out to the right. And I think everybody's familiar with the famous photograph or picture from Ben Hogan's five lessons with the pane of glass going over the shoulders. But I don't think everybody's aware that he said that on the downswing, the plane moves out to the right as a right-handed golfer. Now, I find this pretty interesting because I just think he was a genius when it came to understanding the mechanics of a golf swing. If you look at a trace from pressure plates, uh, when pro golfers stand on uh, a board that measures where their weight shift and balance is at, you'll notice that it goes back into the rear foot and then it shifts out towards the target line on the downswing as the weight transfers from the rear leg to the front leg. I think that's exactly what Mr. Hogan was trying to describe. He was just brilliant in that way. So why don't we take a look at a couple of Ben Hogan's golf swings and see if we can identify this shift in the swing plane. Okay, guys, we have this lovely swing from Mr. Hogan, which is dead on from the front. And what we will see is as his body turns through the ball from the ground up, as his right side gets under, this opens up the golf swing. It essentially turns it inside out is the term that I, I like to use. But uh, from this front angle, what I'd like to show is how when the right side goes under, this almost necessitates the shift out to the right because he's a right-handed golfer. So we get to the top of the backswing, and I'd say that this swing plane, the famous pane of glass, he is right underneath it just perfectly. Now, as he begins to shift his weight, his left side is gonna clear out of the way and his right side's gonna move under. This is the shift. So right here, he's still square to the original pane of glass. And as he gets under here, look at the right elbow. For that right elbow to be so far under, it necessitates the shift of the plane. It's kind of funny. We talk about the plane of the golf swing and the pane of glass. So sometimes people get those intermixed. Now this next swing, I think, does a lovely job of showing us exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, this is a gorgeous golf swing. Uh, he's aimed down the fairway, and the camera is obviously slightly in front in the direction that the pain is going to shift into. So let's watch this golf swing. God, what a gorgeous golf swing. Ben Hogan is the freaking man. So we'll watch him take it right underneath the pane of glass that we're all so familiar with. He's perfectly square, but now we're gonna watch the left side clear out and the right side go under. And you almost feel like his hips and the swing is aimed more towards the camera than it was when he first set up for the back swing. Just gorgeous. Let's watch it one more time. 
And there's the shift. I think it's really key. We see him roll off of that lead leg, gets that nice K in his legs. Now, as he replants that lead foot, see right now his weight is deep into his right heel. It's not the middle of the, the rear foot, it's deep into the heel. So it's gonna move from that heel right into the foot. And so say that's a, a move from the heel to the midfoot or ball of the left foot, that is the diagonal. And we see his body transfer his weight and he presses up through that lead leg for that vertical force and he just rips the ball right down the fairway. Such an amazing golf swing. Let's watch these a couple more times just because they're gorgeous. Just beautiful. So the next MSE Intensive is this weekend, August 25th. If you'd like to sign up in the next two days, I'm offering an enrollment special. So you can email me at myswingevolution at yahoo.com. I'm going to go through all 10 fundamental lessons for my swing evolution this Saturday, August 25th. I hope you hit them long and hit them straight. Hey guys, so let's cut to the chase. Here's my old golf swing. And here's my new golf swing. Five years ago, I started a YouTube channel and I wanted to improve my golf swing by using Ben Hogan's five lessons. Well, guess what? It worked. And along the way, I picked up over 8 million views on YouTube and I learned how to shoot under par. Unbelievable, right? Well, the great news is I have a brand new instructional video called The Hogan Code. In this video, I break down everything that I learned over my long journey to learn to swing like Ben Hogan. And now you can learn the very same techniques that I used to become the golfer I always wanted to be. Thank you.